this lady, this lady, she was like, oh, your hair's pretty. She walked over to me, took my hair kind of aggressively, but I knew where her spirit was, so it didn't bother. She was like, oh, oh, this is pretty. Oh, it's not. I'm like, I had all my hair swooped to the side. When she was done, it was no longer swooped to the side, okay? What's up, Basil Bays? It's your girl, Joy, back with another banger. How are you doing? I hope you are doing so well. The weather is beautiful out here, especially in Texas. I don't know how the weather is where you are, but regardless of the weather, I hope you're doing good, good. And I guess I felt as though I should address the elephant in the room. And I'm gonna try my best not to talk too much. You know, I got the talking problem. I got the talking problem, bro. I don't know, it's just terrible, it's terrible. I am doing okay, school is finally over. I haven't checked the emails in a couple of days, but school is officially over. I'm quite sure if it was an emergency or if there's something that I really, really had to get done, they would have texted me. So with that said, <laughs> um, I know you guys have been wondering about my hair. A couple of people have said something about my hair. My hair has been a, been a process and <laughs> it was like pure torture. Not torture that it hurt or anything like that because it took so long. I did my hair myself. You guys know I do my own hair and it did take a long time and the process was tedious my hair took me about it could have been more about 30 hours for me to do my hair and my braids are pretty small and they're small because my hair all around is about this long yeah it's about that long but then my little edges um, are very short so in order for me to catch my edges I have to do smaller braids so I just do them small everywhere and I want to try something new because I always do black braids and I want to step outside my comfort zone and I did. This is really out of my comfort zone. <laughs> and um, I did these colors. So I have and I want to show you what I did, what hair, I, I can't tell you what, what brand and stuff. So I have one, two, I have three colors, four colors in my hair. And then I have the twist with gold string. I think I have three of these. And I try to limit the blonde, blonde pieces. Initially, I had five on this side and five on that side. And then I felt as though some of them were hidden and then I would, you know, cut out a braid and then I would place more blonde pieces strategically throughout the head. So it's a matter what you, what you prefer. So there's no rhyme or reason, but I wanted it balanced when I first started. So I had five of them on this side, five, and I tried to do them underneath. But before I started everything, I call myself coloring my hair. I was trying to color my hair. <laughs> this color this color is number 27 it's like a honey blonde and i wanted my whole head this color and then i could do the braids and it would blend in and that did not go well okay because i have been coloring my hair black with beijing it's a temporary color but it really stains your hair so when i tried to go to the honey blonde the roots changed you know i got gray hair okay i got some grays the grays did not change um so the new growth change color close to this close to this color the 27 but the rest of the hair didn't change at all so it was light brown about two inches light brown inch and a half two inches light brown by the scalp and then the rest of it was black. That was not cute. So I was like, this is not going so well. I went to the beauty supply store four times and it is a little drive. I was determined. So this is what happened. <laughs> so I started out, um, I start my hair in the back. So the back of my hair is all this color. It's just all one color in the back. This is the back. Um, this is the hair color. It came in a pack of three or four. 
So came in a pack of three or four. It's color 27. It's kind of kinky. It's a kinky type hair. Um, what does it say on here? Spectra. Spectra. So um, yeah, it's kind of kinky. And this is 27 color 27 so I was like this is not and I plan to do the whole head like this because I colored my hair because so I thought that it was gonna color so I was like this is not looking cute so I was like oh my god so I just stopped so I spent about five hours on the back and I was like no I'm not liking this this is not what I want I was like what did I do what did I do? I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. And I was like, all that time I spent on the hair, I was like, I'm not happy. And I also felt as though it wasn't long enough. So my braids, you know, I wanted them like down here somewhere. And I felt as though they weren't long enough. So, and I was like, and it's not even long enough for me. You know, what did I do? I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. So, <laughs> so I stopped and then I started another color. So then we have this color, which is um, an ombre. But when you get it, when you buy the hair, and I thought it was longer hair and it wasn't longer. And the hair I bought initially was pre-stretched. So the pre-stretched hair, the first pack I got, this is 26 inches. This is 26 inches. So then I went back to the store and I didn't remember what inches I had. I just, you know, lined it up to my hair. I was like, okay, this is gonna be longer. And it really wasn't, it was, but it wasn't. I got 28 inches, so then I went to the next size. And this is the hair. And this is what I ended up finishing with so I did this from the nape up, and then the rest of the hair, the rest of the hair was this color. So, oops. The thing with this hair, this is an ombre, it's tied in a knot. This is ombre, but it doesn't look like it. So it is ombre. When you feather the hair, this line of demarcation will blend in. It, it'll start to blend. So once you feel this hair was not feathered. So it just looks like it looked like it stopped at the black right here and then it, it turned to the 27, the honey blonde. But no, once you start to feather the hair, the um the black and the uh blonde will start to blend in. So that is the rest of the hair except for the bottom nape. But I'm like all the braids cover the back anyway, so it's not a big big deal. So the ombre is like, I would say maybe a, yeah, that's black. So maybe like a one and then a one or one B and a 27. So that's the end. So the rest of my hair is this all over, but except for the nape. The nape of the hair, the back of the hair is only this color, but I'm like all this hair is covering it. I use approximately this hair is approx approximately eight to nine packs of hair. Some people want to know, is the hair heavy? Yes, it is. And trying to get it into one ponytail is more of a challenge. Some people ask me why I always have this on my wrist. This is my large rubber band. I do not leave the house without this rubber band. Just in case I want to tie my hair up or put it up in a bun, I always have this on my wrist if it's not in my hair. So you, in my videos, you, you, you'll you see me with this. That's what this is right here. It's the rubber band for my hair if I wanna get it out of my face. So then after I did that, I didn't focus on the blonde pieces too much. I wanted to finish and I strategically put in the blonde here and there. Like I said, I started with five on one side, five on the other side because I didn't know how I was gonna like it. So this is the blonde. The blonde I got, this was probably, if that hair was 28 inches, the 27 in the black, this I think was 36 or 46, I had to cut it. So this is the blonde that I added strategically throughout the hair. That's this color. 
and I really didn't think I was gonna like it. I didn't, but once I started adding the blonde pieces, it just seemed, it seemed like it brought the hair to life. And then when I added the little gold, it really brought the hair to life. So what I did today, um, so every day I look at my hair, I see something different. <laughs> when I said, I was like, oh, I need another little, my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna have to switch my battery out. And I meant to do that before I started, but I, did, I didn't listen to myself. So um, I was like, mm-mm, I need a little more blonde in the front. I can't really see it because the hair is overlapping. I just need a little piece in the front. So I'll just cut off a braid and strategically put in a blonde piece. So I think I'm done with the blonde. On this side, I kind of feel like I don't have enough. So I'm thinking maybe one over here somewhere. So sometimes I look, I was like, it just needs something over here. And then um, I'll look in the mirror at the back. And then this is the other thing I did. Let me swap on my battery first before I start, before I continue running my mouth. Okay, hold on, calm down, just calm down. Okay. So now I'm back. I hope I wasn't blurry because I don't look at myself. Typically, I don't look at myself when I'm recording, so I don't know if I'm blurry or not. So forgive me if, 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 if I am. So anyway, oh, I bought this pack. It's empty. There's no thing on it. I bought a little kit. It had these big gold things, which I used all of those. It had rings that I have in my hair, and it had smaller um gold clips here and then it had the string this is the string that i have in my hair so i just bought a, a little a little kit and it has um i put rings in it so i have rings in my hair they're hair rings you can see that yeah so they're little hair rings i have in here i think I'll, i have two or three they fell out they didn't last too long. I have the little clamps that I put in there. These are the smaller ones. The big ones are too big for my hair. And I really have to wrap these around because my hair, my braids are small. And that's it. So Bobby, my daughter, she did the crisscross for me. So she did these. I have two on this. And I, I didn't want to overdo it. So I have two on this side. And I have one on this side. And I want her to put one in the back. So I'll have her do that for me today. And then um, that's it with the hair. What the oil that I put on my hair, I put black castor miracle. This is what I put on my hair, my scalp. I mean, there may be other things that I can use, but that's what I've been using. My hair is always in braids anyway, so to me, I feel like it, I don't even care. But I do oil my scalp like two or three times a week with the oil and so does Bobby. And that is how I got this look um, with the three, four different, so it's four different colors. So it's the um, Honey Blonde 27 and then it's the Blonde Blonde and then it's Black. And then the ombre. So it's three different colors in my hair. It's three different colors. And the ombre makes it look like there's a fourth color. And then, like I said before, the twists give it a different thing. The rings give it a different. I don't know what else to put in here. So I'm not looking like a boy George. <laughs> so I don't know. But I know people, um, they asked me about my hair. Like today, several people asked me about my hair. No. And people was like, for extra money? No, no. It, I was so miserable. One day I did a session. I was determined to finish. I was determined. I worked on my hair maybe from 2 to 3 in the afternoon. I did not sleep. I went to bed at 8 a.m. until I finished the last braid. I was determined. I, 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 I just enjoy. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. I was so tired. 
I was so tired, but I was like, I just got this piece left right here. I got this left right here. I gotta keep going. I think I was delirious. So when I do my hair, I watch tons and tons of movies. When I do my daughter's hair, um, it's like our bonding time as well. We watch movies together and I kind of enjoy it. Then um, the other day she's like, mom, we got one more hour left, but I finished her hair, but we didn't finish the movie. She said, we have one more hour left on that movie. I curled in her bed. I said, here's a slice of your bed if you want to get in here with me it was like a little slice she was like no I'm okay she sat in a chair mama was tired okay but I wanted to finish the movie with her so I do enjoy the bond I don't enjoy doing her hair I don't but um her hair did not take as long in fact I guess it's different when you're doing someone else and her braids are probably four of my braids four or five of my braids put together and so we added some blonde she's gonna come up here and show you her hair we added some blonde pieces so someone asked me today um, who, who did your hair i was like i did you know I, I just think everybody can do their own hair but anyway and she was like this she said do you do hair oh no 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 and Oh my gosh, I gotta tell you this quick story. I went to uh, Sam's Club to get some fruit. We went there to get fruit and bread. Like I said, when I go to Sam's Club, my cart can't be too full because that's how they be getting you. So I know specifically what I'm getting from Sam's Club, okay? Um, oh, the hair, the, I don't know if this, um, this one right here, this is what I wanted to tell you. I don't know i think it came in a package of three a bundle of three it's either a bundle of three or a bundle of four so you'll get three or four of these and i think it was um 3.99 or 4.99 okay i'll take it the blonde hair was super super long i think that was like 3.99 or maybe it was $5.99 and then I bought um, another hair was $1.99. So my hair, this hair probably cost me no more than $20. So this hairdo is about $20. It cost me a lot in time, but if I was to go somewhere and get my hair like this, I'm talking probably three, $400. With these skinny, 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 skinny braids, we're talking a lot of money, maybe even more than that. Mm -mm. No, I I can't afford that. I'm 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 being real. I'll just I just suck it up. So these braids will stay on my hair for quite some time, but I'll redo the front, I'll redo the top crown, you know. So I'll redo certain sections. Now that the color and stuff is growing on me, it is growing on me a little bit. Um, I'll I'll keep it for a while and then I felt like I was fighting the gray so I kind of wanted to go lighter in that respect too it felt like I was always fighting my gray hair I'm, I'm not ready to commit to that okay so then just let it grow up no I'm not ready you gotta be ready for those things so anyway um so I would say no more than $20 even with the little jewelry no more than $20 but a lot of my time a lot of my time a lot of skills some braids I did take out and do over because I didn't like how it turned out so if you guys know something else I could do with my braids let me know I'm open to suggestions if you need me to demonstrate how you do a crisscross it's literally a crisscross <laughs> it's literally a crisscross um, there's another style I want to try where you just wrap it it's like a little um, coil but a tight coil um, that takes a little more time. I bought another color string, but I didn't like the color. It was blue. I was like, maybe I could just throw in a little color, and I didn't like it. Maybe a red or a pink would be cute. Just one. Just one. Let me know your thoughts on that. So, and this lady, so I was going into Sam's Club, and as I'm walking in, the lady with a mask, um, she came up. Well, she was like, Oh, uh, what did she say? And I had all my hair because I don't know. I don't know. I like the side swoop. It just seems like people like to take my side swoop and play with my braids. <laughs> That's what it seems like they like to do. And which it doesn't bother me, whatever. You can touch my hair. It, it, that doesn't bother me at all. Some people don't, you don't, they don't want you touching hair. This lady, this lady, she was like, oh, your hair is pretty. She walked over to me took my hair kind of aggressively but i knew where her spirit was so it didn't bother she was like oh oh this is pretty oh it's not i'm like i had all my hair swooped to the side when she was done it was no longer swooped to the side okay it was no longer, 
It was it was like this. And she was just, you know, I don't know. It just makes you want to run your fingers through. It's the weirdest thing ever. I had another friend do that to me at a party. I had my hair swooped inside. She's talking to someone else, looking over there. But she's running her hands through my braids like this. It's the weirdest thing ever. So then she was like, and I was like, and I knew where her heart was. So it didn't bother me at all. And I don't mind people touching my braids. That does not bother me. Go ahead, touch away. Ask any questions you want. And she was like, oh, that is pretty. She said, um, and I and I said, oh, I said it took um over 30 hours. She said, what the F you um sit there for 30 hours for? <laughs> it was the funniest thing ever. What the F you sit there for 30 hours for? I was like, no, I did it in the session. She said, oh, you did it. She you do hair. No. No, 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 no. She was like, oh, but they're pretty. But 30 hours? She said, mm -hmm, you did it in a couple of days. Yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> but it was so funny. Then the other story, I'll let Bobby tell you the story. It was so cute. So let me get Bobby and then we're going to run to the store. And honestly, it is now 544. I've been up. I got my nails done. I got my nails back. And remember, that is the one treat that I always say, no matter what my struggle is, I'm always going to keep my nails up. I'm like, I kind of waste you know, 30 $40, you know, out of my whole paycheck. I can't have $40 for myself. Anyway, so I got, I feel, I feel brand new, y'all. I feel brand new. And my, um, my nail lady, she's so sweet. She says, you know, you're the only person I talk to, right? I was like, no, she said, nobody talks to me. <laughs> and she speaks very good English. And then when I sat down, I didn't quite, cause we all had masks on. So I didn't understand what she was saying. She was like, no French, right? No French. In other words, she's telling me get something new. I said, black. She was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> so maybe when I go back, you guys can help me. What should I get next on my nails? <laughs> What should I get next on my nails, guys? I always get the French manicure. I feel as though it's safe. I feel as though it's pretty. I don't know what you can see. Sister! Sister! Um, so there was this, we were looking at, I think hummus, and she was, um, no, we are looking at tacos. And, <laughs> although that's not important, <laughs> then she came up with her shopping cart. She was like, what did she say? She was like, I thought, I saw you guys down there. I was watching you. I thought you were twins. Yeah. And then she was like, is that your mom? I was like, no, first she said, are we sisters? First she said, it's like she didn't look very closely at first. She was like, are you sisters? Then she was like, is that your mother? She was like, I can't decide whose braids I like more. So this is what happened with Bobby's. We had... Because I told you, I was not feeling these braids whatsoever. <laughs> and I had a whole bunch of this hair. So I was like, Bobby, you want your hair done? This is what you want to get. Get what you get and don't throw a fit. Because we're sisters, okay? So <laughs> you gotta. I started doing Bobby's braids. She did not like them, she didn't like the color. Right? And then I said, Bobby, we can do the top like mine. And I told her we can still swap out the front so it blends more because she doesn't like that, um, the, cl the clear lines of demarcation, the, the sharp contrast. So, but this really blends in the dark and it'll blend in like ombre. I said, we still have some hair left. Let's just do the top like this. And that's how mine is. My whole top is with this. And she said, no, just wait till they get crunchy. So then I threw in some blonde pieces on hers today. I don't know, the blonde pieces just adds a nice, a nice pretty highlight. It just gives it different definition. I think you could do a few more blonde pieces, Bobby. And I just think it just gives her a little more, more highlight and stuff on the braids. I still think I need another piece over here. I don't know, guys. I have to be playing with these braids now. So, um, so what do you think about braids? You still, is, they're still, they're growing on you now? Yeah, they're growing on me a little bit. Cause it's like, I don't really do much with my hair outside of like my normal. Cause, well, I used to get only black, but then I switched to putting it brown. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm in full jump to blonde. <laughs> so Well, I, so did I. It was like a little scary for me. Cause I really don't do anything with my hair different. Bobby's conservative when it comes to her hair. 
Sydney's conservative. We tried to convince, okay, we tried to convince my other daughter, Sydney, the youngest one, um, to do the braids. And that was the deal. She was going to get braids for the summer, give her hair a rest. Nope. She has reneged on a deal and loving her bob. She wants to keep her bob. I knew she wasn't going to get braids. Yeah. So she, she won't get braids. So that was quite disappointing. So no braids for the other daughter. So Bobby and I have been rocking our braids. And so she'll, um, we'll just redo the top with that ombre, with the ombre hair. Um, in a couple of weeks or so. Like maybe two weeks. Mm-hmm. So we'll We're just redo have... hers. Mm hmm But it's fun uh, when we're out, people kind of stare because we're tall, we have the long braids and so on and so forth. But I'm not sure if I'll go back to black. I'm not sure. Oh, somebody's ringing out there. Oh, that's probably Sydney. Sydney. <laughs> Sydney. All right. So that is the hair story. I know um, some of you have been wondering about the braids. This is how I achieved this look um, with the braids uh, for those who wanted to know. And answer the question about this rubber band that I always wear around my wrist. The hair colors that I use, the oil that I use on my scalp. Um, if you need me to demonstrate anything, but there's tons of hair braiding videos, you better look on YouTube. That's just how I learned how to braid hair. I looked on YouTube, okay? And so, um, that's it. So, if you have any questions or any comments, leave them down below. And I, you know, I always respond to all your comments and stuff because I do appreciate them so much. I think I covered everything with the braids. I think I got everything. And when I asked some of your opinions before, y'all was like, don't do the whole thing, blonde. Don't do the whole thing. That was the goal, but I wasn't feeling it, y'all. It made my nerves bad. But, you know, I figured I could add a little lighter colors by throwing in these blonde pieces here and there, which gives me a little, a little more flexibility. I feel like I need some blonde up in here. So if I take all my, my back pieces, this whole section, I feel like this whole big section, there's nothing. It's all one big. So I feel as though I need a blonde piece in there. I don't know guys. So I'll look with my mirror in the back. All right, guys, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, hair questions, once again, leave them in the comment section below. And thank you for hanging out with me <laughs> throughout my little hair journey. If you go back to my older videos, you see I have gone through a plethora of hairstyles um, throughout the last two and a half years <laughs> all right guys give this video a thumbs up like comment share subscribe until next time later